a stone falls down to height h to the ground now we know that that stone will hit the ground with velocity root 2g h we need to obtain the same formula in terms of reference frame which is falling to the earth with a constant velocity v0 so we are going to solve this problem with our regular kinematics method and also with impulse and momentum so first let's do it with the standard kinematics approach that initially with respect to ground the stone initial velocity is 0 and final velocity when it hits the ground is v0 and it has traveled a distance h so we are going to use our formula v square is equal to u square plus 2 a dot s here u is 0 a is minus g j vector and s the displacement is downwards so that is h into minus j vector so we do this dot product and we get that v not when it strikes the ground is root 2g h now with respect to frame so let's say the frame is moving downwards with velocity v not so initially the particle will appear to come up with the same velocity v not so this is the initial velocity of the particle with respect to reference frame which is v not upwards Now gravity is still down, and eventually it comes to rest with respect to observer, because finally the speed of observer is same as the speed with which it is hitting the ground. So with respect to observer, finally the stone will come to rest, and initially it is moving opposite to the observer with velocity v not. So now we are again going to use the same formula but this time we will put the terms with respect to our reference frame. So with respect to our reference frame final velocity is 0 initial velocity is v0 square i mean u square is v0 square 2 as so a is same in both the reference frames so that is minus g j cap and displacement this time is plus h j cap because with respect to observer the ball has moved up so if you put those values you get v0 is equal to root 2gh and hence we have proved that in reference frame this reference frame also velocity comes to be same now let's do it with impulse now with respect to ground there is a force on the particle which is mg so let's write impulse j is equal to force into time force it is downwards mg so we can write it as minus mg into j cap time taken for it to fall through h height that we can find from equation of motion and that gives root 2h by g so solving this we get our impulse as minus m root 2gh j back j cap which we can write as change in momentum so m into final velocity minus initial velocity it has started from rest so initial velocity is 0 and this is final velocity so we just equate that to this and we get v not vector is minus root 2g h j cap or magnitude of v not comes to be root 2g h now with respect to frame so its initial velocity because the frame is going downwards with v not the initial velocity is upwards so it can, in vector form it can be write as minus v not j cap and final velocity is zero now impulse in both the frames is same because what is impulse force into time time varies equally in all reference frames and force is same in inertial reference frames which means because the reference frame itself is not accelerating there is no pseudo force on this ball which means the only force on this ball is still the same which is minus mg j cap and time varies equally so in the ground frame whatever time has passed the same time has passed in reference frame also so all in all the impulse is same so therefore j vector which is same as minus this thing 
is equal to this time we will write the change in momentum with respect to our reference frame so m into final velocity minus initial velocity so final velocity is zero and initial velocity is minus v naught j cap so we do that and we get our original result that is v naught is equal to minus root 2 g h so here we derive the same formula without getting into equation of motion.